today. You're in for a real treat. We're going over to meet with my dear friend, Bill Castro. He and his family, third generation, have owned El Masson for 43 years here in the Miami Valley. We're also gonna be meeting Mark Abbott, the head chef. We're gonna learn new recipes. We're gonna catch up and we're gonna dive head first into the Colombian culture. excited to have you and we've got so many great things in store. I can't wait. Mi casa, su casa, your casa. Come on in and let's get this party started. Yay! Okay, let's go. First, we're going to show you how to make these wonderful, delicious tacos called Berria Tacos. And they're from a beautiful, enchanting city called Jalisco. A recipe sure yeah, to actually standing here. We're so lucky. Oh my goodness, I feel so happy we're here. We're with Mark Abbott, one of the iconic chefs here in the Dayton area uh, that's been here for 25 years, right? Uh, maybe a little bit over that. But. And he's <laughs> going to show us the next hot dish that you're all going to want to eat. Yes. And I'm so excited. This looks amazing. It smells so good. Well, these are called uh, birria tacos. Okay. And it's like the newest, uh, the latest thing, but it's um, it's been in Mexico for a long, long time. Um, Guadalajara, Jalisco. Yeah, yeah, Jalisco, that's what I'm trying Jalisco, so, yes. uh, so anyway, they, they make this stew, uh, and it's usually made with goat, mm. or with lamb, mm. or with beef, okay. and I'm doing it with beef today. Okay. And so you slow cook this beef with lots mm. of lots of seasoning in it. Oh my gosh, it's just highly, love. highly seasoned. I can see love in there. Yeah, <laughs> and then the broth, you, you separate it, and you shred the beef, and then okay. you keep the broth. Okay. And they call that the caldo. Mm. And so what we're going to do with that is we're going to take the corn tortillas, we're going to dip it down into that caldo there. Yep. Okay. Dip it in there and then put it right in here. Oh I'm going to turn goodness. up my heat a little bit more. And Lisa, you know, the idea of tacos is not new, but it varies from region to region in Mexican cuisine. And even though our restaurant is Hispanic and we're originally from South America, we really respect and love the diversity in even the Mexican culture. So these are tacos, but not as the tacos that we all know. And that's the great thing that Mark's yeah. gonna show you. And then I'm gonna take them, and sometimes mm. it's easier to do your hands with this. And we're gonna take some of this uh, beef here. Oh, that looks so tender. It is, it's almost like you would even simplify this by almost making them uh, uh, the, the, the simple explanation yes. are pot roast tacos Ooh. because the meat is so Jeez. cooked mm. down and it falls apart and then it's the caldo or the au jus in French but or the consomme that makes this so yummy. So I mean good. you can just I mean, and even then. yes look at this wonderful mm. combination oh there. See how nice and crispy this they are. Beautiful. And we take some of this caldo here. I feel like I'm in the nope. presence of greatness here. <laughs> and watch, so no, if there's no um, sour cream, there's nothing um, that is in the traditional sense of what we think of a taco. You top wow. it with the uh, onions and a little bit of the cilantro. And then you're gonna show, Mark's gonna show you here how to enjoy these. Oh my goodness. And did you find this recipe in your travels? Because I should say Bill and Mark travel the world. If you're interested in traveling with them, you need to go to Viva La Vida yes. and also El Masan, and you too can travel with these wonderful two men. It has a sweet smell to it. Yes. There's a yes. sweetness to it. Okay. Just pick it up like this. Okay. And hold on to it. See, it stays together okay. like this. Then you dip it down into that consomme. Dip it into the consomme. Mm. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. Mm. Mmm, 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 I'm in love. But it very is sweet, yes, yet savory, very savory, um, and so delicate. And just the freshness of the onions and the cilantro on top. Mmm, 
Mm. I already eat these all day. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're spoiling me. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's when you know this you've got so good food. Good. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I wish you guys could taste this, but you can actually come to El Masad. Oh. They are open. Mm. They are ready. They have a, an amazing menu. We were just here Saturday night. Um, for a birthday party, <laughs> um, but come to El Masan if you're in the area or coming through the area. Right, right. Have, this is one of the best restaurants in the Miami Valley. And Cinco de Mayo, I heard it from the chef, they're going to be serving these. Yes, and they're going to be, be outside feature. with a big grill ah! right outside making these up. So just follow order. your nose all the yes. way here. Yeah, <laughs> and have a easy. margarita too. <laughs> I have to tell you, this is one of my favorites. Yeah. I have a lot of favorites, but here, it's so good. Thank you for showing us this. This is incredible. Here at Omasan, we always try to bring you the best and what is current. And these birria tacos so are like no other. Come so see good. us. Ah, thank you. Thank, thank you. you guys. Thanks. Thank you for sharing this. Uh, It's cocktail time, and I promise this is a cocktail that you will love. I really appreciate great food. I always think you need to have a great beverage. And for me, that also spells out a great cocktail. I agree. So we're going to share with you. This is exclusive, mm -hmm. okay. okay? And this okay. is because uh, the crown bees in the house. This is backstage That's stuff, right. guys. Backstage. <laughs> this drink is a drink that um, I designed, and uh, I've been proud That's to say right. that Elmasan has won several Battle of the Bars competitions here within the uh, Miami yes. Valley. Yes. Not only for an innovative cocktail, but in what we would call the perfect match. Okay. And that means the cocktail to the food. So yes. we have won two. And that's an art. Yes. It's a science. Yes. Yes. We've won two uh, championships, a reserve, and always an honorable mention. So, yes. So in our series today, we did get to enjoy the birria tacos, which again, if you didn't see that, oh my goodness, because we can still smell that aroma, Super right? Mayo. Oh my goodness, yeah. cinnamon, a little bit of so uh, cilantro, and onion, some cheese, mm. the great uh, uh, beef that it is filled with. So fresh. So now, here we go. Now, yes. I have it here in this beautiful decanter, and this is an antique decanter. What I'm going to do is show you really the interesting part here. And Ooh. that is that this is not a margarita, even though it's in a margarita glass. And one of the ingredients is tequila, okay? Ooh. This is one of my favorite ones. And you know, Lisa, people are afraid of tequila. I agree. They are. You say the word tequila. Yeah. Now, we've had the opportunity to visit Jalisco and mm -hmm. the tequila region, which of course, this is the uh, most popular. This is very sophisticated. It is. Tequila, like any fine spirit, mm -hmm. can be so sophisticated, mm -hmm. so smooth, and that's what you have to understand. And the layers of It is, and the filtering delicious. and the product, even the aging, because the color of tequila, you get to the point where you have the, the different components. Of mm -hmm. course, silver is the more natural product. It's a young product, and it's the clear product. Ah. When you go into what they would call reposado or añejo, that is when you start seeing the golden color based from the barrels. Wow. From I the didn't aging, know that. correct. Wow. And añejo means aged, reposado means rested. So these have been through that process. Now, one of my favorite wow. is a silver or a clear añejo. And what's happened there is that it goes through this process, and this is where the gold color comes from, okay. from the barrels. But they will take it one more step and go back in and re-filter all of the color back out through another process to make it so smooth. So tequila can be just as smooth and wonderful it's a fine as wine. any. Oh, it yeah. is. It really, really is. So this is what we're going to be using again, okay. a good tequila. Now, Beautiful. from there, what's interesting Ooh, is that this cocktail incorporates wine. 
into mm, it. And this is a special one, I know. It is. Yeah. These are, as you can see, they're both blushes. And I'm using what I would say is a Moscato. And a Moscato has a little bit of sweetness, a little bit more fruit, a little that. bit more berry, yeah. okay? And this is a sparkling wine. Now, Ooh. understanding me that unless it is um, harvested and grown and champagne aged France. in Champagne, mm. France, it can only be called Champagne. In Spain, it's called Cava. In Italy, it's called Prosecco. Oh. And here in the United States, it's called just sparkling wine. This is why all these three friends work so good together, yeah. okay? The tequila gives it a backbone. Yes. Okay? The Moscato gives it a finesse mm. of sweetness. Yeah. And the Brut, the sparkling wine, gives it a body. So then from there, what that. we do is that we add a little bit of lime, okay? Because mm. lime, again, incorporates great with tequila. And then I use, just for a little of the sweetener, I use maybe some agave, Ooh, okay? And okay. that, again, is like honey, mm -hmm. or you would um, you could also use like a simple syrup, if you will. So That's what good. we also do is that we add some neat, refreshing ingredients to it. So here I've taken and I've cut some cucumbers, mm. okay? Because I always think cucumbers are just the best mm. um, at making any, I even like cucumbers in my water. I and do. you do all those I type of waters that. and so on. And the strawberries. And yes. the strawberries. So we're going to add yes. the strawberries here as well. That's a good hydrator. Yes, yeah. it is. So I mean, look at how refreshing this is going it's to taste. Beautiful. Now, again, just like I mentioned the great differences between these. We're also gonna do the differences within what we're going to add mm. from the cucumbers, the strawberries, and then I'm going to do some peppers in here. Some that. jalapeno peppers in here. These are fresh. So as we see, we have this here already. This is beautiful. I'm going to just take here. And this is a mixture of all of this. Exactly, yes. so this is where we have and as you see, it's just oh, filling it up. That's beautiful. Look at this. What do you call this? Does that have this, a name? This, yes. This is what we call go-go juice, <laughs> okay? We wanted a name that would be fun. Go -go we wanted a name that it's you would beautiful. be able to enjoy. Can I show them? Absolutely, you please do. You have to do. see this up close. Look at that. That is spectacular. Yes. Now, you know, I always say in anything that one prepares, and you know, in our channel, Viva yeah. La Vida, yeah. our whole goal is to inspire people. And, you and creativity is part of that. Trial and error is part of that. Yeah. Fake it till you make it is part of that. Smoke <laughs> All of that is a great way in which we encourage you. So in other words, if you're really scared about um, the, the peppers, don't put those in, you know? Don't make or it put hard. very little or yeah. put, but again, trust me, because I want you, when you taste, just like you did the tacos, yeah. Yeah. when you taste a drink or something, you're, you should come alive, you should have a reaction. You should have something that catches box. a memory. Step out of your box. Yes, yes. And just yeah. And you know, our taste buds are so magical because they can sit and take this. Isn't it incredible? And oh my yeah. God. And you can have yeah. a memory through the experience. That is true. It is. You, something is so true. between the sense of smelling and mm -hmm. taste. Now, of course, you know, vision, touch, and hearing are all just as important. Yeah. But at this point, we're you not using that. Yeah. Yes, we're using the aroma. Like right yeah. now, I smell that strawberry. Smell this. I smell the cucumbers. I even smell the fresh peppers going in there. Oh my god. It smells goodness. like a little garden. It does. It does. Isn't it wonderful? And then you have the beautiful orchid. Yes. Now, the only way a drink like this is any better, <laughs> and that okay. is with sharing it with Aww, a dear friend, love you, friend and someone that appreciates. So you. let's okay. dig in here, okay? Okay. And you tell me. Here okay. we go. One, One two, two, three. That is amazing. Isn't that good? So I taste the strawberry. Mm hmm. I taste the sparkling wine. Yes. I taste a little bit of the tequila. Yes. Just a little kiss. Exactly. It's like a little kiss. It is. Um, and the I cucumber. Would say the moscato, I taste a little hint of that. 
and you have it all balanced so it's not anything that's just in your face no isn't it refreshing it's, like you would have oh, it's beautiful um, and as you can see it's just as beautiful as i mentioned it's so good. you could put peaches in there if you want you could even put some berries in there mm, if you want the peaches but, would be great oh well, yeah. yeah instead of the strawberries so or seasonal. with the strawberries too so whatever seasonal exactly whatever you have in your garden right for a sipping tequila Mm -hmm. Is there one that you would tell them to start off with? Well, you or know, something that was a smooth, gentle, lovely. Because I think a lot of people don't know that tequila. No, they don't. And, and we even have a, a house one that I'm going to show you. And we we have our own. Oh, that's Don Julio. Yes, that's Don Julio. But this is our signature oh, tequila which is called dobel and dobel. we have a special barrel that is just reserved for us you do oh my yes. goodness bill oh wow yes is that it that's it so see so you can wow. oh. show that as well too it's just a castro family yes so neat. it's our reserve that is yes. neat and this one, when we were down uh, in uh, uh, Jalisco and, and uh, in the region there of tequila, um, and we went to Jose Cuervo and did a, a, a tasting, oh, and it wow. was amazing. Wow. It was so amazing. This was a tequila that um, was only sold in Mexico because like any uh, wine growing region, yeah. any, you keep the best. Yeah for the locals, yes. for the culture. But again, and I think you have, uh, you, you, you're absolutely correct, Lisa, when you're saying that these are sipping, okay? Mm -hmm. You wouldn't need to use something Just like a this little, in a margarita. Yeah. You wouldn't need to use it into here either. Yeah. I love a good spirit because I think, again, you well, can't do hamburger This is top quality. Filet. Yes. Like, yes. this is amazing. I did yeah. not know that. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys so, can have that too if you come to El Mason. Absolutely. You can absolutely. Sit right here and yes. partake in that. That yes. is so special. Yes. So I don't know. Which I, is your all favorite? This, is this your favorite? Yes. Or is this... this one's my favorite. And this is my favorite. This is the one that I would have like as an imperative, you know, just to, to, to enjoy the beginning of um, a meal, meal, if you will. Mm -hmm. Yes. This one right here is something that I go to to even just have on the rocks with a little bit of lime you know something that you would be able to um, enjoy you could do this in a margarita as mm -hmm. any of these cantera negra which is this one here yes it's um marketed and produced by a local group and um, it was where um, yes that's ah, an añejo okay. where um this group of of uh, uh businessmen that uh, are here from the dayton uh, montgomery uh, county area, they would go to a fishing village in Cabo St. Lucas and they would of course enjoy their libations and uh, mm. they started drinking I this bet, tequila yeah. and loved it. And finally the distributor and the owner of this uh, uh, company decided to allow them to be the exporters. Really? Yes. Is that how and it so that it comes in. Yeah. So it started here in yes. Dayton. Oh, yes. That's so special. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't this know, Lisa. Beautiful. No, I'm I think we I need sit, another like, sip of this I because agree. I just think that my I day agree. was made. Oh my goodness. And let's thank do you. here. Thank you and, for sharing uh, absolutely. your day with YouTube and and cheeks here. I so appreciate it. Love it. it. Here we go. Ready? Love you. Mm. That is mm. so good. Now I'm getting more of the pepper. Oh, it's so yes. good. Yes. That yes. is so good. You guys have to try this. And again, you can come into El Masan and you can have it made for you here Absolutely. at the bar or Remember, at the table. Remember, go-go juice. Go-go juice. We all need go-go juice. <laughs> and, it, and it's a Monday, so <laughs> here's to go-go juice. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. One last sip. All right, here we go. I can't stop. <laughs> mm. Mm. Cheers, mm. guys. <laughs> so 43 years in the restaurant industry, you have to have some great stories, but also I'm interested in the evolution of the El Masson and how it all began. Well, you know, you hit the head, the nail, right on the head, okay? And that is that you said the word evolution. Yeah. My father, Herman, my mother, Gloria. Of course, 
back in uh, 1978 with a vision and a dream. Yeah. Our logo is the butterfly, and it's all about evolution. And, uh, you know, myself and my brother, we were born in Panama, my sister in Colombia, where my parents are originally from. And that's how the restaurant started, a very small pizza business. And you know, um, now we are five different dining rooms, uh, 450 seats, a fleet of it's six incredible. food trucks, um, wine and culinary trips that we take um, every year with customers. A food channel. A food channel, Viva La Vida dot media, yeah. which is something that Amazing. of course is just birthing from the roots of Alma so This is all part of our journey and the evolution. I love it. Up next, a tour of Elma San and how it all began. This room has its own diversity, and we feel that you could come to this restaurant, dine six different times in one week, sit in a different dining room, order yeah. off a different menu selection, and you'll feel like you are somewhere else. So this is was our second addition to um, our acquisition. Um, we bought the, this uh, restaurant back in 1978. We, uh, we we'll, and I'll show you where the original part of the restaurant is. But here, this was a pet shop. This was originally a pet shop that was next to a pizza joint. We cut into the wall. The chairs. These were built. Um, in Mexico, uh, we commissioned a wood carving uh, village, and in that, 145 pieces were shipped. So this is what we call the Masson. This door was um, from a home in 1861. And the room here um, was designed to be able to have this door be um, uh, what would be the, 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 the crown, if you will. It's quiet. I know what Pius sees in reflection. We use a lot of mirrors as well. I love the mirrors this are room. based on, yes, on oh, making it feel open but intimate and quiet. And there's a great way to be able to, I think, bring that into dining. Now, this is the original part of the restaurant. And this is um, a room called the Whisper Room. And this is where everyone is able to hear each other. Um, we're able to make it so that you can experience the conversation and camaraderie of your Then my father decided to knock out a wall and we purchased two other adjoining properties. One of them was a barber shop, and that is now that houses our kitchen. Oh. And then on the far side, where we've seen some of the other episodes that we've filmed, um, is our bar area. And that was kind of like a, a biker bar, honky tonk. But what's interesting <laughs> is, is that this whole corridor, and as you can see, it was designed to look like a street. So this was the market. This is the way that you were able to experience the whole Hispanic culture. Acquisition. And you can see, even from the, the beautiful door um, that was designed to uh, open into uh, the courtyard. Again, the artistry, this beautiful um, jarrones, these vases that were hand painted and selected. You can see the detail on some of these that have created this beautiful patterns of, of uh, color. Painted pieces. I love these oh, doors too. Yes. Are those antique? Yes. Those are beautiful. Oh, oh. Eden. Oh. <laughs> uh, 
You know, the best part is when my mom, or as the grandkids call her, Yaya. Start planting, and they start bringing in all the hanging baskets and everything that makes what we call a plaza or a patio. And as you can see, you can already see the colors and the, the sofas and the entertaining sections that are so important. in the tropics. You are in the Amazon. You hear the water, the fountain, the beautiful flowers here with their passion fruit, ferns, um, again, blooming uh, hibiscus and, and banana trees. I mean, there's so much magic. And even the two murals here were painted by a local artist. And those were painted over 30 years ago. They're still beautiful. They're so they special. The reflection of what the Caribbean is. Parrots and butterflies hanging in a hammock and enjoying some of the tropical flavors. And you know what's so magical about this Lisa is that this room is like this 365 days. It's true. A year. It's Again, candles on the tables, on the fountain in the background, and some beautiful Cuban salsa music playing in the back. So you special. You add a to that, and you add paella, the national dish of Spain, and this is the magical spot of El Masan. I call it, this is where the heart beats, right? That's what they were having. I love so it. This magical box, all the beautiful colors, has a story just within itself. It's so special. So special. Ah, I love that little bus. Okay. Thank you for having me. I hope you guys loved your visit here with Bill and Mark in El Masan. Make sure you tune in to Vida La Vida. And if you're in the area, please stop by and support this amazing restaurant. They give so much to our community. Thank you so much. Well, it's been our pleasure. And you know, Lisa, the only thing that I've not shared with you oh. are my dance steps. Oh. Care to dance? I would love Let's to do dance. it. Let's salsa. <laughs> All right. Bye, Thanks guys. for coming. Ciao. Am I taking it? <laughs> no, I said to talk to you. So talk. He's okay. okay. It's a con. Yeah, it's okay. so easy. No, you're so easy, dude.